family. So this was a short story I had to write for my professor. They give you time limit, page limit, word limit, all, all different types of guidelines. And this was one that I submitted. The title is called Gifts. He went into the forest at the break of first light, feeling awakened by the crispness. As he walked the slender trail, he passed an elk skull, which had bugs twitching and fiddling all over it. Above him, a flock of bald eagles watched him pass. He bowed his head, and they stared and continued clutching their talons deep into the branches. He trotted forward, and he kept making his way to the graveyard. He came across a patch of pale yellow and white flowers and bent down to snatch a bundle, ripping hard so as to not get any roots. He passed the familiar marker, a bear hide nailed to a pine tree, and made a left turn into the tucked away abode of the dead. At the entrance post, he was greeted by strings of turkey feathers which tickled his forehead as he entered. The first grave marker... To the right had a pile of boar ribs with sun-dried intestines draped on top. A familiar family. To his left, another grave marker slept. An elephant head sprinkled with chicken beaks. A few paces forward, through the tall grass, he arrived at his son's grave, which was marked by a pile of frog leg bones and ostrich necks kneeling to lay the flowers and breathe in the morning air he felt better a soft cry caught his ear it was no bird the wind stirred the trees and leaves and flowers blew in one direction he recognized the call he arose from his knees and left his son's grave he turned left then right and right again there, lying in front of him, was a gurgling infant wrapped in a fresh trim anaconda hide, and beside the child, a red-eyed cougar harnessed to the tree. He clutched his dagger and nodded at the cougar. The cougar closed its eyes and opened its mouth, and its tongue protruded out. It was ready. It recognized the sign. He approached the creature lifted his arm with a forceful downward gust and plowed the blade deep into the center of his forehead. In an instant, a black spirit oozed from its fractured skull. He knelt down, picked up the plump child, and walked the stony trail out of the graveyard. Whispers of gorilla grunts, bellowing bulls, and groaning goats announced his exit. Finis. All right, so yes, it's a little scary and a little dark, right? But in a writing class, you're not going to really get a good grade if you only stick to, like, the same genre. So professors want to see you explore all different topics. So I hope you thought that was, like, an interesting, weird, cookie story. Because it kind of is. That's what I was going for. Uh, but I got an A. And yeah, I hope you liked that scary story. Perfect for October.